have my continuous glucose monitor here. I'll set it up there. I could put your gear. Let's see where we are. I mentioned, it says seven by nine. See how this comes up? It creates a basin to keep us dry in case rain comes around. This is referred to as the bathtub. Okay. But the seven by nine is the actual measurement of the floor, not taking into account the bathtub. So instead of being seven by nine, it's about six and a half. So, you know, a little over six feet by eight and a half. Let me set me down. I'm six foot tall. I'm going to put my feet down here against this side. Okay. As you can see, I'm touching it this side. So the seven foot is actually going to be six foot. But... It's not that they're cheating you, but just so you know. However, if we go the other way, we have plenty of room for putting cots. Because you're not going to want to try and do a cot unless you are short and you have a short cot. Now, as I lay this way, I've got a good foot beyond my feet. You can see up there, my monitor and the net, the back window, the door, and that yellow spot right over here is where I showed you where the power cords can come in. You can see I've got good room left. So, Two people with a cot or with cots, you'll have plenty of room. Okay? But four people, they want you to lay on the seven foot length, which is actually six. If you got somebody who's six six, he can't do it. Okay? just not going to happen. 6'6", six, six, he, she, whoever, they're not going to make it. They're going to have to go on this nine foot axis. So just plan on that. Consider this a two man tent. And if you want to get crowded, a three man tent. But two people with gear, quite comfortable. And it's not a slide of this tent. This is just the way tents are like this in general so when they tell you four people it won't be if they tell you six people it won't be if they tell you nine people it won't be so bear that in mind okay but for what this tent is for twenty dollars we have an awesome tent i am very pleased with this tent i have no complaints on the tent so let's get one last little look at things. And I'm going to go shoot a video for a couple weeks from now. I've already got the video shot showing you the gear that we're going to show next week. And I'm going to, well, I was out here yesterday shooting. When I got home, the, the uh, video of me setting all this tent up was unrecoverable. The video of me taking my gear, which is going to include a mess kit, preview there, and cooking a meal and eating it, gone. So we're going to do something again. I didn't bring anything to cook, but I do have a bottle of water. So we're going to boil some water real quick and show you that. Okay? And I'll show you the gear. All right. Rich here. I'm telling you, get up. Get out, 
And I hope we see you in the woods sometime soon. Bye, guys. Later. Have a nice close up view of that flap. You can see it goes through into the tent. Here we have the Velcro. holds this to the tent pole. Now here we have those hooks we talked about. This is one of the clips. And there we have that ring. All right, we're gonna take this down now, go do the other stuff. Okay, take a little walk with me. Here's what we were filming. There's where the tent was. Here's where the pole bag blew. We could have lost this.